Welcome to this tutorial on i3 Window Manager. i3 is a simple, lightweight window management system which is very much essential for coders, power users, and anybody who wishes to work efficiently. i3 is a tiling window manager which does not allow two or more windows to overlap. At the very first time you start i3, you will be asked for a modifier key. This modifier key is the key you prefer on your keyboard, uh, which will help you to manage windows. For this tutorial, I have chosen my modifier key as the Win key. So this is the default i3 desktop. It's almost empty, but at the bottom, there is a small thin panel. At the right side of the panel, you will see information about your computer. This is called the i3 status indicator. At the left side of the panel, you will see all the workspaces you have. Currently, I have two workspaces, and right now I am on the very first workspace. i3 comes with some predefined keyboard shortcuts, which is essential to know. Let's start by opening up the terminal. For this, you have to press and hold your modifier key and then hit enter key. Here we have a full screen terminal. I'll open another terminal window again by pressing my modifier key and the enter key. Now my screen is divided into two sections giving equal amount of room to each of my terminals. Let's open one more terminal. Now my screen is divided into three sections across the horizontal axis. Notice that the last terminal we open is the currently active window. The active window has a highlighted window border. We can change the focus to the middle terminal simply by pressing your modifier key and the left arrow key. Now the middle terminal is the active window. If you want to focus on the rightmost terminal, Press Modify key and the right arrow key. You can use the Modify key along with any arrow key to move the focus towards corresponding directions. Unlike in other window managers, in i3 you won't get window controls, which means you won't be able to see minimize, maximize or close buttons on the headers of the windows. In order to close a particular window, you have to press your Modify key, Shift key, and Q. Now I will focus on the leftmost window and press my Modify key and H key. Notice the bright blue line which appeared at the right edge of the window. This means our screen is now spreading across the horizontal line. I'll press my modifier key with V key. Notice that the light blue line which was at the right edge of the window just went to the bottom edge of the window. This means your screen is now splitting across the vertical axis. For an instance, if I open another terminal, it goes below the first terminal. If I open one more again, it continues splitting across the vertical axis. If you want to move the currently active window to the right side of your screen, you have to press your modify key, shift key, and the right arrow key. You can take it to the middle again by pressing modify key, shift key, and left key. You can bring it to the top of other windows by pressing Modify key, shift key, and up arrow key. You can use all the arrow keys to move the currently active window likewise. Let's say you want to increase the visible portion of a particular window. To do this, you can press your modify key and the R key for resize. The resize mode is now indicated at the bottom left. When you are in the resize mode, you can use your arrow keys to increase or decrease the visible portion of the active window. 
Once you're done, press the return key. i3 provides you useful workspaces as well. Right now, I'm on the very first workspace. You can switch to the second workspace by pressing your modify key and number 2 key. Now I am in the second workspace. You are free to open different applications on different workspaces. I'll add another workspace by pressing my modify key and number 3 key. You can go back to the first workspace by pressing modify key and number 1 key. You can open up number of workspaces as you desire. i3 has a special program to launch applications. This is called the D menu. To launch the D menu, press your modify key and D key. The D menu appears on the top of your screen. You have to type in the program you wish to start. So the D menu will search applications for you. Select your preferred application and hit return. Even if i3 is a tiling window manager, it also provides alternative layouts to manage your windows. The first layout I'm going to show you is the stacking layout. To activate the stacking layout, you have to press your modify key and S key. Once you activate the stacking layout, it will maximize your currently active window. To view an upper window in the stack, Press your modify key and the up arrow key. Likewise, you can view below windows by pressing your modify key and the down arrow key. Now the second window layout is the tabbing layout. To activate this layout, you have to press your modify key and W key. Notice that all the windows now share a common header menu. The header menu is divided into tabs to represent the corresponding windows. If you want to switch to the right tab, you have to press your modify key and the right arrow key. Use the left arrow key to activate the tabs on left. The last layout which I3 provides is the floating layout. Floating layout is what most other window managers use. To activate the floating layout, press your modify key, shift key, and space key. Now my active window is floating, so you can grab the header bar to move the window. Notice that the windows behind are still in the tabbing layout. I'll press my modify key, shift key and space again to float my Firefox window. I'll move the Firefox window from its header. To switch back to the previous layout, activate your floating window and press modify key, shift key and space again. To activate the tiling layout, press your modify key and E key. You might want to adjust i3 as your needs. i3 offers you a text file which allows you to customize the desktop. For an instance, let's say I want to change the font using i3. To do this, first I'm going to start up a terminal and load my i3 configuration file. If you want to change the font, just uncomment this line which begins with font. Here I will change my font into Open Sans. If you wish, you can change the font size as well. I would like to exit from an application just by pressing my Modify key and the Q key. Here's the line which is responsible for that keystrokes. I'll remove the Shift key from this shortcut. Now I'll be able to terminate my applications just by pressing the mod key and the Q key. Once you're done configuring this file, press Ctrl X to exit 
and why to save. Once you restart i3, you will be able to notice the changes. You can find out more about i3 by visiting i3's ArchWiki page. You might like to add a wallpaper and the network manager to your i3 installation as well. And don't forget to visit their official website, i3wm.org. Here you will be able to read a lot more information. So that's it for i3 guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned more. Thank you for watching.